Hey guys, what's up? Nick Major here, your APTV Los Angeles correspondent. I've got Davey Havoc and Jade Puget of Extremis. You also, of course, know them from AFI, Black Audio, and you guys are doing your first show. So how does that feel? So far, so good. Very excited to be back at the Roxy. Yeah, we had a good sound check. We got, uh, we're playing with a band for the first time, a second guitarist for the first time. I played with a second guitarist in like 17 years, so that's weird. This sounds like something that both of you guys had been talking about for quite a while. Why not? Why was it? Uh, why was this the perfect time for you guys to to bring to bring this band to life? We were already writing the last AFI record, and so we were like, you know, we're writing music every day together. So let's write this other record that we've been talking about. This is the perfect time, and we started doing it, and it just came out so easily and so organically, and all the songs just happened, and you know. And here we are. Guitar wise, for example, it has some insane stuff. Like, it's ridiculous, the variation of stuff. What was that like writing compared to what you're typically writing? It was really fun writing, not so fun playing. You'll see it tonight. It, a lot of effort <laughs> goes into us learning that stuff because I never thought we'd play a show. So I'm like, I'm going to write whatever the hell I want. But now I'm, uh, you know, now I'm facing that. But uh, yeah, it was the, the writing of the record was really fun and really creative. How has that been recording this vocally? Because it's some of the harshest vocals that I've ever heard you put out. The recording came very naturally. The, the writing and the recording of it uh, was was really organic and de delivering those vocals. It was and is actually very physically and emotionally exhausting to perform both in the tracking of it and in the rehearsing of it, and I imagine even more so in the performing of it tonight. It was very easy for me to connect with, with the music um, being focused on the straight edge movement and to emote in that way as I feel and felt that it is most appropriate for you know, the message that's being put across. And it was a very unique experience. You guys, you've been part of the uh, the straight edge lifestyle for such a long time. You guys started when you were teenagers, yes? That's when you got involved. So what was it about this lifestyle that just had such an appeal to you guys and something that decades later you're still holding true to? For me, it was simple. It was just, you know, drinking, doing drugs just didn't make sense, didn't feel right. And sobriety did feel right, even as a teenager when, you know, that's when you sort of do all those things. So, and that's all it was for me. And, you know, Straight Edge was a way to kind of express that as a community, as a, a you know, m the music associated with it, and it just all kind of coalesced into this lifestyle that really appealed to me. You guys released this on uh, Dim Mac Records, mm -hmm. and a lot of people know that's Steve Aoki's label, yeah. but uh, what some people, because he's obviously best known for his electronic stuff, but his roots are back in the hardcore scene. That's where he got his start from. He's, he was playing in bands. He was hosting shows, I know, at his place. So what's your relationship with Steve Aoki, and how did you guys get into the talks that he'd be the one putting out this album for you guys? We initially knew Steve from those days, back in the Pickle Patch, when bands would come through and play at his house. Um, AFI never played at his house, but we played at the living room, and we stayed at his house. And uh, it's actually from a mutual friend of ours. Jade wasn't in AFI at the time that that happened, but our friend Alexa, who had known Steve, who hosted the first AFI rehearsals in her living room, some of the first AFI rehearsals, sent us to the Pickle Patch to stay. And that's how we, how we met Steve, through Hardcore, and he had his Hardcore label and his Hardcore band. And when it came time to put out the Extremist record, we thought Steve might enjoy it, and he did. And um, he's such a great supporter, and he's, and he's really so excited about it. It seems like you guys have so many projects going on. Is there anything next? You guys gonna be doing like a hip hop anything, or? <laughs> Or what's next on the agenda? Next AFI record will be hip hop. I mean, that's, I know that at least, but uh, I think three projects is probably enough for right now. You know, it's tough to even do that. So we're working on a new Black Audio record right now, sort of putting the finishing touches on that. So that's like the next thing we're doing. So is that the main focus after these? You have a few handful of shows, but you're not gonna be doing big tours after this or anything? I mean, we'll see how tonight goes. I mean, the intent for us is to get into the studio and record the new Black Audio record as soon as possible. But if these shows go well and other people would like to have extremists, I'm sure we'd be thrilled to, to visit another city. If tonight is any indication of what the response is going to be like, it's looking good because this show tonight sold out very quick, which that's got to feel good because I'm sure coming into it, you weren't sure what the response would have been like. Absolutely not. And our, our, our agent texted me the morning I woke up. I didn't even know the show had gone on sale. He's like, we're going to have to talk. We're going to, we need to do something because we've only sold 17 tickets to the show. And my immediate reaction was like, oh, wow, okay, wow, that's a drag. That's not very money. And many in the, then I read the next sentence. He said, I'm just kidding. It sold out in four minutes, which I was, I was really shocked. <laughs> I mean, it's, it's really, it's, it's unbelievable that, you know, we have a band that's never played before one record and people are so interested in seeing it so hopefully they enjoy it yeah it's good it's going to bring i'm sure some afi fans as well as some hardcore fans so it's going to give kids who may not have listened to this stuff a good opportunity to check out some awesome hardcore stuff so have a good show tonight guys again jade and davy check out their stuff awesome music i'm once again nick major your aptv los angeles correspondent follow me on twitter and instagram and nick underscore major to be up to date with all my stuff thanks so much for watching see you guys next time